So right now, I'm at Queen of Fails. Yes, you guessed it right. In Darjeeling. So hello everyone. Welcome back to Jia the Explorer. I'm Jia and I hope you all are safe. So today, I'm going to show you different places to explore in Darjeeling like uh, Tiger Hills for the sunrise and uh, Goon Monasteries and more other places. After completing my Sikkim trip, where I visited all parts of Gangtok, India-China border, Nathula Pass, highest lake of India, Gurdongma Lake, Zero Point, India's first glass skywalk bridge in Pelling, and so many places. If you have not seen them, I have provided links to all those vlogs in description. I reached to Darjeeling yesterday evening and staying in this beautiful Central Heritage Resort, very nearby to Mall Road. Today, let me take you to Darjeeling City Tour. So early morning and it's 4 o'clock now and now I'm leaving for Tiger Hill for the sunrise. So the day starts very early. If you want to witness beautiful sunrise from Tiger Hill, from Mall Road to Tiger Hill, it's around 22 kilometers and takes around one hour or depends on traffic. One important thing, you can't use your own vehicle or private taxi to go to Tiger Hill or Darjeeling City Tour. You need to hire local taxi only. I have given taxi charges details in description. What I paid for overall city tour. You see, it's so crowded here. Sunrise happened at 5.40 am and it's worth watching this magnificent sunrise. Enjoy this time-lapse view of sunrise. What a creativity of nature that God made that whenever the sun rises, the rays fall on Tanjinjanga. Telescopic view of Kanchenjunga in early morning is totally different. When orange sun rays directly reflect from snow. Hope you will love the scenic beauty and appreciate my effort of getting up so early to capture it for you. So as a token of appreciation, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss my upcoming interesting vlogs. After Tiger Hill, I visited one of the oldest monasteries in Darjeeling, Gu Monastery. Nearby Tiger Hill, next attraction to visit is Batasya Loop. So after watching the sunrise from Tiger Hill, this is Batasya Loop. And actually this Batasha Loop was built for the Himalayan trains to take the turn. And uh, overall the view from here is really magnificent. After Batasya Loop, taxi driver will drop you to your hotel around 8.30 to freshen up and have your breakfast. He will come back to pick you up around 10 am for remaining attractions. So after breakfast, I visited to Darjeeling Railway Station to see and explore the toy train, which is must to ride. By the way, such toy train ride I had already experienced in Uti and Mathiran. If you have not seen my Mathiran vlog, I have given link in description. In Darjeeling, this toy train of Darjeeling Himalayan Railways operates between New Jalpaiguri to Darjeeling. There are traditional steam engine trains as well as diesel engine trains. Of course, diesel engine trains are faster than steam engine trains. 
addition of Vista Dome coaches in these trains gives you perfect view of greenery and valleys during your journey. Due to shortage of time, I didn't travel on toy train today. Next attraction of Darjeeling which is 5 kilometers away from Darjeeling station is Rock Garden. Rock Garden has a very beautiful man-made multi-story waterfall and well-managed greenery around. So this is Rock Garden and as you can see there is a waterfall it is coming from different tiers and overall it is maintained very well. You can easily spend one hour here roaming around. Next place to visit is Peace Pagoda. It symbolizes global peace. It was built by a Buddhist monk, Fuji, to spread a message of harmony all around the world after the bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You can spend 30 minutes here. There is a zoo as well. It is the only specialized zoo in the country and is internationally recognized for its red panda, snow leopards, Tibetan wolf and other highly endangered animal species of eastern Himalaya. I have visited many zoo and national parks but first time I saw red panda hair only. I must say, they look so cute and adorable. So the main attraction of this zoo is red panda that I just saw and it's so adorable and so cute. Also I saw beer hair after a long time. It's a well organized zoo and it will take at least 2 hours to visit it properly. Darjeeling visit is incomplete without ropeway and tea gardens. Near the Gu Monastery, this is Darjeeling Ropeway. It covers a total of 5 km distance. The journey on the ropeway offers views of the hills and the valleys around Darjeeling. So this is the roadway in Darjeeling. From here you see the full Darjeeling view and all the tea gardens. But as you can see, it's a very big queue and it's a two hours waiting. So definitely I'll not be able to go because I really have a tight schedule. So, but it looks exciting. So if you come over here, you should make sure that at least you should have two hours to spend here. attraction is also Tenjing Rock. It is a natural rock beside the road which is named on the name of famous Sherpa Tenzing Norgay who first climbed the Everest in 1953. You can try her rock climbing. This was the last point of Darjeeling city tour. By 5 pm all tourist attractions get closed and you will be dropped to your hotel by your taxi. So if you are a shopping lover, then this is a place for you. Darjeeling Mall Road. So basically over here you will find so many woolen clothes. So anyway, let's go and explore. As I said, there are so many shops of winter clothes in very affordable price. You can spend your evening in this market doing shopping and having your dinner. And don't forget to buy some traditional and authentic Darjeeling tea. So this is how I spent my day in Darjeeling.
Next day morning, I checked out from hotel and moved to Bagdogra Airport to come back home. So I'm heading towards Bagdogra from Darjeeling to catch my flight. However, on the way there are so many spots and this is one of them, Lepchak Jagat. And as you can see, there are so many pine trees and there is an interesting view of Kanchenjunga range. From Darjeeling to Bagdogra, it's 85 kilometers and takes around 3 hours. But on the way, there are several beautiful places where you can stop by and spend some time. So this is Simana viewpoint, 5 kilometers from Lepcha Jagat. Did you notice one thing? In every viewpoint, you see the view of Kanchenjunga range. So now I am heading towards Pashupati market that is in Nepal. Yes, you heard it right. On the way, there is Indo-Nepal border near Mere. You can get entry into Nepal by showing your Indian ID proof. From the border, Pashupati market is around 3 kilometers. So once you cross Nepal border, after 3 kilometers, this is Pashupati market. And uh, over here you can see there are so many shops of clothes, cosmetics, so many electronics. It seems most of them are Chinese items. You can hire a taxi from border. It will cost around 300 Indian rupees for pickup and drop, which will take you to market. You can spend around one hour there and taxi will drop you back to the border. Darjeeling visit is incomplete without tea state. So this is Gopal Dhara tea state, one of the biggest tea state on the way from Darjeeling to Bagdogra. Gopal Dhara Tea State supplies tea to major tea brands in the market. This tea state is spread across 800 acres. So this was my Darjeeling trip where I've shown you all different spots of Darjeeling and the amazing sunrise from Tiger Hill. I hope you all enjoyed it and it was informative for you all. So my next trip will go to Goa. If you don't want to miss my Goa trip videos, so press the bell icon and subscribe my channel Gia the Explorer. We'll meet you very soon. By the time, be safe. Take care. Bye-bye. It was very memorable trip to Sikkim and Darjeeling. I enjoyed a lot and explored about our Northeast Indian places and culture. I will really miss all those people whom I met. Everyone was so humble and caring. Thank you all for watching this vlog till the end. We'll meet you all soon. 